Hey, good morning, everyone. Happy Wednesday. Rob here for Southwest Florida Television. Absolutely glorious here in North Naples this morning. This is the north end of Del Nor Wiggins Pass State Park up by Wiggins Pass. Got some beautiful sky. Relatively clear skies, a little breeze coming out of the northeast. It's around 79, 80 degrees. Beautiful sunrise. Saw some beautiful colors earlier this morning. Hit that share button. I wish you were out here with me. We're going to take a little stroll down the mile-long beach of this multi-award-winning Florida State Park. So I'm just starting to rake the point here. Wiggins Pass is where we come out for sunset with Boat Naples. We do that on Thursday evenings. That's a special Southwest Florida television cruise. If you'd like to join us, you got to call them to get on board. It's not on their website. It's right now in the summer. It's $40 a person. It includes complimentary beer and wine and a slunch of Irish whiskey sunset toast. Love to see you on board with us. BoatNaples.com. Also, now through September 15th, they have a BOGO special going on for their tours. Buy one, get one. So essentially two for the price of one. You gotta make your purchase before September 15th. That's the cutoff, I think, through September 15th. But it's pay now, tour later. You don't have to tour right now. You can redeem your tours, your two tours, within one year of your purchase date. Think about that. You got a year to redeem them. So if you're coming down here for the, the winter, Get your, get your seats now on Bow Naples, two for one, BOGO. Visit their website, BowNaples.com. If you got questions, call Captain Sunday about it. It's an incredible value. Take advantage of it before it's gone. They also have a Labor Day weekend special right now, this Labor Day, this three-day Labor Day weekend. If you book a charter, a two or four hour charter, you get a $100 gift card for the North Naples Country Club. So it's like getting 100 bucks off. And there's your excuse to check out the North Naples Country Club. Go for a boat ride. You can take up to six people. And then hit the North Naples Country Club afterwards or before. <laughs> I'd say afterwards. I'd say take a morning cruise. Do a morning. That's when you're most likely going to see some dolphins. Then go to the North Naples Country Club for lunch. It'd be fun, trust me. I wouldn't steer you wrong. BoNaples.com. I've been watching these clouds all morning. They're awesome. Watch them change all different colors this morning. Pretty much the whole gamut. Now they're just about white. They've almost lost all their colors. They got a little bit of yellow, but that's a thunderstorm. And it was firing up with lightning all morning this morning. It was really cool out there in the Gulf. So I was coming over that Blue Bill Avenue bridge. It was pretty neat seeing it over the rooftops. I got about a five minutes of it that I recorded from up on top of that bridge that I'm going to share later with you. If you like just watching lightning flickering. It's beautiful. Aren't those clouds gorgeous? You know me. 
I can't get enough of my clouds. I'm a cloud freak. I got my head in the clouds. Oh, my buddy's going to be in town. I can't wait. Bad Bob. Bad Bob. We're going to see Bad Bob next week. That'll be cool. I don't know where Bad Robert is. I'd sure like to see Bad Robert down here. <laughs> I'd love to see all of you down here. Wouldn't that be awesome? Did you see Area Roy? I shared some video of Area Roy, what it looks like today. What it looked like yesterday and what it looks like today. A little now and then of Area Roy. If you missed that video, scroll down. You'll see me and him together in the thumbnail. It was just kind of a little update about the new parking lot opening. And this brought back some memories while I was walking around there. That was the home to our Southwest Florida Television Beach, family, really the north end of Area 4. <laughs> so many good times spent there. The picnics, uh, the parties. The singing, the dancing, just the friendships that were made. Lifelong friendships were formed through these beach walks, believe it or not. People really have come together over the years. That was my goal, to bring people together one beach walk at a time. And by George, it does work. There's a lot of long-term friendships that were formed. We've lost a lot of our beautiful friends over the years. And our captain. God bless you, Roy. I can feel you. Now and then I feel you with me, buddy, walking around Wiggins Pass especially. We spent a lot of time together, him and I, at this beach, and off this beach as well. When that sun gets higher in the sky, we'll get a good look at this water. Should be looking pretty nice. I forgot to check the time when I started here. I think it was around 7.25ish.
beautiful. I haven't seen a lot of boats heading in or out of Wiggins Pass this morning, but the ones that I've seen heading in and that one heading out going a little too fast. They weren't keeping it down to idle speed while they're in the pass. Did you figure out what's going on with that car? Oh, I thought maybe. I called. Yeah. Uh, they're F, what, FWC's coming. That's weird. Yeah. I wonder where they went. Who knows? Kind of wonder. Keep an eye out for a floater. Yeah. Okay. I kind of do the shuffle when I'm out there. I've kicked a few. <laughs> oh, I've stepped on them too. <laughs> yeah, that's a surprise. Talking about stingrays. There's been a SUV parked up back in the woods, up at the north end of the park, all morning, running with its lights on, no driver. They crashed through the gate. Don't know what's going on. FWC is on their way out here to check into it. Thought it might have been somebody that did themselves in up there, but that's not well. If they did, they didn't do it in their vehicle. They might have gone out to the water somewhere. Very weird. Clouds are gorgeous. I love how we just see these colors change and evolve throughout the morning. The evolution daybreak, the evolution of morning in paradise. Well, yesterday morning, I had a big walk. I did a 10.4 mile walk yesterday morning. 24,000 plus steps yesterday morning. That was a long walk. 
I was feeling it when I got home. I was feeling it when I got out of bed this morning. It was tough getting out of bed this morning. I had to get up early to take care of some things before coming out here to the beach. Get up a little before three this morning. I usually leave the house. I watch the 4.30 news, catch the first weather report. I don't know why, because by the time the sun comes up, it's totally different. But it kind of gives me an idea of what's going on. Boy. The waves are real little waves, but they're picking up along here right now. Parking lot number four is open. Yay! All you fishermen, that walk to Wiggins Pass is getting shorter. It's not too bad of a walk now from the north end of Area 4. A lot better than from parking lot two. Parking lot number four is a good sized parking lot. I was looking at some old aerials of the park that I had. That's a big parking lot. I don't think a lot of people know it's open. There was one car in it yesterday morning. And we're there. We're just coming up to the north end of the parking lot. Area Roy. The north end of Area 4. Home to the Southwest Florida Television Beach Channel. There it is, right there. This gap in the trees, that's the walk where the walkway to the parking lot used to be. Now it's no longer, no access there. There was four ways to get out on the beach before Ian and parking lot four all the way down to the very south end, then up a little to the north by the concession stand, then just north of the middle where that beautiful boardwalk used to be, and then up here where Area Roy is. Now they just have the one where the boardwalk was and the one where the concession stand was. peaceful out here. I don't see anybody out on the beach yet. So I don't know if the gate's open yet or not. This is where I'd be coming if I was driving into the park. I'd be coming up to lot number four. Get as far away from people as I could. It's nice that they opened it, but it just means more people on the beach now. More people and more holes. I noticed that already this morning, walking up the beach. Please, 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 people, fill in your holes. Dig all you want, have a blast, but 
fill in your holes and knock down your sand castles, please. And pick up your trash. Our beaches are going to be busy this weekend. Please come out here and respect them. Enjoy, but respect. It's Gail's birthday. Oh boy. Linda Brooks, if you're watching, good morning, my friend. I haven't heard from you lately. I hope everything is going well. Shoot me a line when you can. <laughs> I know you hate your phone, but it's unnecessary evil these days. Look at that reflection in the water. thinking. I'm walking. I'm thinking. Thinking, thinking. The beach is a great place to come and think, especially when it's quiet like this. Kind of get lost in your thoughts. Drift away if you're not careful. <laughs>
got yeah. a few photos still to share from yesterday morning up at Wiggins Pass, as well as a little bit of video footage of some of those gorgeous colors. And then I've got some other little things to share from this morning that I'll be posting throughout the day. So be sure to check back periodically or just check back this evening before you go to bed. Watch a couple beach videos. Great way to wind down. End your day at the beach. Start your beach in the, at the beach in the morning and end with a little beach in the evening. I wish I wasn't so darn tired in the evenings. I'd love to be out here for sunset, too. Here comes some little white ibises parading up the beach. White Ibis Parade. Hey, send some stars if you're liking what you're seeing here. I do depend on your support to make ends meet each month. I do enjoy coming out here and sharing my mornings with you. But unfortunately, I got some bills to pay, and now's the time of the month when they're all piling up. Facebook stars, greatly appreciated. I get a penny for each star that you send, although those take 30 to 60 days to collect on, but thank you, my star senders, you're awesome. Tips, I prefer those tips over stars. You can find a link to my PayPal account in the description of this post. You can also find me on Venmo and Apple Pay, Zelle, if you message me on my personal Facebook page, I can give you my Zelle info. Every dollar helps. Times are tough, as you know, for all of us. And of course, above all, thanks for being a friend. Just thanks for hanging out and watching. Thanks for allowing me into your lives and into your screens. I don't know what I'd do if I was walking the beach and I didn't have a camera in my hand. I'd feel naked. <laughs> Nobody know who I was. Nobody recognized me. <laughs> Which reminds me, if you're ever here walking the beach in the morning and you see me doing my live feed, don't hesitate in stopping and saying hello. Love to meet you in person. Always fun to do that.
like thunder still coming in off the Gulf. The storms are pretty far out. They're far out, man. <laughs> Remember that old saying, far out, man. I think that was a Cheech and Chong saying. If you remember those two characters, They're dating everyone here. Sun just kind of coming up over the trees here at Wiggins. Just starting to get some light on the beach now. Shadows are getting shorter. There are a couple nice spots here where there's some shade early in the morning. Especially now that they got area four opened up. The trees are starting to grow back in and get a little taller here. And now the sun's gonna be coming up later. So you're going to have a little more morning shade each morning, each day. So keep that in mind. And if you got a walker, you know, or an electric scooter, wheelchair, whatever, the north end of parking lot three, where the old skybox used to be, it's got a nice wheelchair mat. And then out at where the mat ends, you can just pull off into the sand. There's kind of a little roped in area. You just kind of pull over to the right or left and you can sit there and just enjoy the sounds of the beach and the people walking by. I believe the same thing goes for the south beach access and parking lot four. Yeah, that's got the mat with that little area at the end. The one in area three is nicer than the one in area four. It looks like there's a little more room at the end of the mat. The way they laid it out, I thought maybe they're going to put a concrete pad there, but they said no. But anyway, that's probably your best bet for getting to the beach, close to the beach. So I'll spread the word on that. People know, people are always asking me, messaging me about where can they go if they're in a wheelchair or whatever. Beautiful blue sky, man. Gorgeous. And that bright Florida sun over here. Blinding in those clear skies. We're getting down to the south end of the park. An awesome walk, don't you think? Serene. I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to do another live feed this morning. I'm feeling kind of tired. I was up late last night. Couldn't sleep. Wanted to get that little video that I did of Area 4 posted. Be sure to watch that. You'll see me and Roy. Me and Roy's image on the thumbnail. Oh, buddy Roy. Give it a share. I'd really appreciate that if you'd give it a share. All my photos and videos sharing 
and that helps out tremendously spreading the word we love to see our beach family grow in size plenty of room we got an unlimited amount of room for new members in our beach family Sun. Let's see what that water looks like. You know, I haven't noticed any turtle tracks on the beach. I think our turtles might be done. We did not have a good season this year. Start out slow, then start picking up, and then the darn tropical storm Debbie wiped out some nests. stingrays out here in the water. They had a green flag flying yesterday. I don't know. I might want to switch it over to purple. Just be careful when you're out in the water. Yeah, the water's Stir it up again with these little waves, darn it. It was really starting to look good yesterday. I thought we were on the road to clear water. Maybe it would be nicer down at the south end, down by Vanderbilt Beach, Vanderbilt Beach Park. i go check that out later. I'll give you an update on what's going on down there. Parking lot one right now. Man, look at this. There's not a soul on the beach. A soul set up with a chair, umbrella. What's up with that? Why so quiet? The summertime blues. <laughs> I love it. I love it when it's quiet like this. I do think this is going to be my last live feed for this morning. Sorry, my friends. Just feeling kind of tired this morning. Also, got a lot of things on my mind. A little distracted. Always worrying about the bills. Ugh, I 
hate the bills. The bills, the bills. I hear thunder rumbling out in the Gulf. Still a rumbling out there. sure check back later today I think it's a cool video in my opinion it's cool of that lightning a view of that lightning from up on top of the Bluebell Avenue bridge if you've been to Del Norwegians you know where the bridge is that's the gateway to Del Norwegians Pass State Park in the north end of Vanderbilt Beach and I think I have a couple photos I got some stuff that I'll be sharing so Check back periodically, or like I said, check back this evening. You can see it all. You can watch a couple of those beach videos that I post before you go to bed tonight. about out of the park here. Very, very close. We are officially on Vanderbilt Beach now. <laughs> Just like that. Nice walk from Wiggins Pass down to here. Still a lot of shadows on the beach. Look at that. They'll be lifting shortly. All right, my friends, have a wonderful, wonderful Wednesday, a hump day. If you're working and humping it, don't hump it too hard. Enjoy the journey. Remember that? Enjoy the journey. Enjoy it wisely and safely, but enjoy it to its fullest. Get to the beach whenever you can. It's got magical powers, healing powers. Last 
look at that water. All right, my friends, it's going to do it for my Wednesday morning beach walk. Until next time, stay safe, stay healthy, and stay strong. Tally ho, everyone, tally ho. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. May God bless you, your family, your friends, your fur babies, everyone and everything in your lives. And God bless our wonderful, beautiful, and amazing country. God bless America. Say some prayers for her. Tally-ho. Tally-ho.